Greetings, Warrior fans, and welcome to another edition of the Warrior Weekly Show. Sports Information Director Mike Stetson, thank you for joining us. The weather outside, it's frightful. The wind's blowing, it's minus temperatures, and the snow's piling up. Yet the basketball season continues to roll along with practices and games here at the Hanson Fieldhouse this weekend as your Warriors will host Presentation Friday night and Dickinson State Saturday. Keeping with the basketball theme, we sit down this week with the Martin brothers from the men's basketball team. Demetrius, who leads the team in scoring, and Melvin, who's been a huge asset defensively and passing the ball for your Warriors. We talk a little bit about what it's like playing together, what brought them to Waldorf, and all other kinds of things, basketball with the Martin brothers. I want to thank you for joining us. Now it's time for the Warrior Weekly Show. Welcome fans, this week we're joined by men's basketball players Demetrius Martin and Melvin Martin. Guys, thank you for joining us this week. Thanks for having us. Uh, first off, we've got to talk about how the team's been doing, uh, especially the last game, a gutsy effort. Uh, you guys had to be happy with the way uh, Saturday night's game turned out, uh, Demetrius. Uh, definitely, I mean, uh, the, that Dakota team we play with is, is a really tough team. And uh, the first time we played them, they got the best of us. Uh, I thought throughout that second game, we, we played hard and, and stuck with the game plan. And uh, got off to a slow start, but eventually it turned around for us and we was able to pull out a win against very good team. Now, the numbers have been down for you guys a little bit. I mean, uh, Saturday, the, this past weekend, you guys only had eight guys. How tough was it to get through the weekend, and yet uh, how important was it to get a win with the numbers being down and yet still getting it out? Well, it's always tough when you don't have the numbers. Um, we've had to do a lot. Um, guys had to step up. The guys have been ready. Uh, they're finally getting an opportunity, and they're making the best of it. But one thing is that we're trying to figure out, and what we're starting to do is everyone's figuring out what they need to do in order to pick up that pace because we don't have enough. So, how important was? Saturday's game. I mean, you guys have had a lot of close games, but you haven't been able to get over the hump. How nice was it to, to make that comeback, get the lead, and then finish it? It was great. I mean, uh, especially uh, what happened to us Friday. It was, it was scary, but I think we did a good job of bouncing back and getting that W Saturday, which is, is helping our confidence. Really. You know, we got to take it one step at a time. And I think the way we play Saturday, it can only feed on it, and it can go good. Obviously, uh, there's not that much of the season left, but there's still uh, five conference games for you guys to go. You want to finish strong, and then once you get to the tournament, it's anybody's game to get to nationals. How do you see the rest of the season shaping up? Yeah, I mean, I mean, definitely. We have five games left. But this is the most important stretch of the season. Uh, like I tell the team all the time, you can't win a championship in November, December, January. You know what I mean? You, may, you win those in, in February and March. So. Uh, these, these last five games are just as important as any other game. Uh, just for us to get our confidence, stick with what we've been doing, uh, and to just go into the postseason uh, just playing good. So, so you guys are brothers, obviously. Uh, what is it like getting to play on the team together? And has that happened a lot for you? Have you played together on teams a lot? Uh, yeah, we uh, one year I played on his AAU team. They, we was down a couple guys, so I came back and helped. And then in high school, we also played together. I didn't start with them like I am getting this opportunity now, but we definitely played together. And it's definitely bringing back that memory. So I think that's why the chemistry on the court with us is, is going really well. You like playing with your brother? Yeah, I love it. I mean, not everybody gets to say that they play, you know, at this level especially um, with, their brother, with their brother. So um, it's fun. I'm taking it day at a time, just enjoying it. Like you said, we've been able to do it in the past, but not for this long a stretch. So just taking it one day at a time. And, Try to push each other as much as we can every day in practice. So. You guys were both at different junior colleges before you came to Waldorf. Did you sign at the same time, or did one of you sign, and then the other one said, "Come, come on, come play Waldorf." 
Well, I signed, I, I signed first, and uh, I'm like, man, it would, it would be great if we got the opportunity to play again. And that opportunity came about, and we, we took advantage of it. So. I'm sure Coach Jenkins was happy to have him out there helping recruit, huh? Yeah, definitely. Talk a little bit about uh, growing up. What got you guys started playing basketball? Uh, really, I just, everything he did, I just followed in the footsteps. Uh, it was just me, my mom, and him growing up. And he always had the ball in his hands. And something a little brother always does is he follows his brother's good footsteps. So that's what I did. What got you started playing? Man, just just the game. I don't I, I really can't explain it. I just, I was never a big football fan growing up, wanted to play football, baseball, it was just always basketball. Like, no matter what I was doing, I wanted to have a basketball in my hand. And when I got old enough to play, my mom was like, let's do it. And ever since then, it's just been there. And I was probably around the age of seven, seven or eight, so. You guys are from Minnesota, originally from Minnesota, born in Minnesota? Mm -hmm. yeah, the hotbed of the basketball uh, up in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Are you supposed to play hockey or football in Minnesota? <laughs> that, yeah, that's the, <laughs> the hockey state right there, so. Uh, what is you guys' plans for the future? I know you, you've got uh, another year on the court, and you've got a couple more years. Have you thought about what's going to happen down the line? Yeah, I mean, well, first and foremost, the degree is the most important thing, just to get that degree, be able to just, you know, have that to fall back on. But I want to play as long as I can. You know, if the opportunity comes about after college and I'm able to play uh, professional, uh, that's, that's what I want to do. And then, obviously, after the game's over with, and the ball is that bouncing for me. I want to get into some coaching, so got a little bit of a plan. Let's see. What's your degree in? Uh, exercise science, sports medicine. So. How about you, Melvin? What do you think about it? Uh, just finishing out. That's the big thing. Just uh, trying to get this degree. I'm getting a second chance around this time. First time it was a little struggle, but uh, I know what I have to do now to get that. And then after just coaching, I, I had a, a injury that I don't know how much longer I can play. So. Therefore, I just wanted to just take every day one step ahead. What are you studying? Uh, sports management. Sports management. Yeah. So, ideally, where do you guys see this season at? I'm a competitor, man. So, if you ask me, I see it. We win these last five games, go into postseason with the utmost confidence. Five, six games in a row we went, that we won and winning it all, if you ask me. So, I'm going to ride with that. It's a national tournament. National tournament. Or bust. Or bust, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty good for you too? Yeah, that sounds about right. So. Talk about your game on the court. Uh, what do you think is the best asset that you bring to the team? Uh, I would say uh, my defense. I help us out uh, in, in energy. Uh, I kind of try to help us get us going. We need that spark that we need. And then play making, making sure everybody's where they're supposed to be and they're supposed to be. This guy likes to shoot a lot. He's pretty good. Is that how you got good at defense? Had to guard him? Yeah, basically. <laughs> How about you? Uh, it seems like you're you're on fire. I mean, uh, aside from Gabby, he has 54 percent. You're at 53 percent shooting, which you know nowadays people are like, oh, f over 40 percent is yeah, a good yeah, average. Yeah. And so you're you're tearing it up, and you need the team to score. Yeah, it's just all the hard work I put in throughout the years, is just sticking with it, and just being ready. That's the biggest thing, being ready. But the biggest asset I would say is being one of the older guys on the team is just that experience. You know. Uh, we, we got a young team as far as experience, in-game experience, so being able to bring that experience every day and kind of help the guys get through certain situations, you know, talking them through it and just, just stuff like that. So. Do you ever sit there watching him and go, oh, don't take that shot? <laughs> <laughs> nah, not at all. I just, I, every time he shoots it, I, I'm wishing for the best and hoping it goes in, too. You like him out there with you, helping out? Yeah, I mean, I think Mel, Mel is very underrated in the fact that he makes the game easier for everyone. You know, he, he makes sure everybody's in their right spots at the right times, and he's always looking to make plays for others. You know, he's not a real selfish guy at all. He's always out there trying to make plays for others, making sure everybody else is getting theirs, and then worrying about the rest. The one he has to do the one. If you guys weren't playing hoops, what would you be doing? You think? That's a good one. I have no idea. I'm 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 in that clothing, so something like fashion or something. Yeah. Or highly coaching, because I just love the game so much. Fashion like menswear or? Yeah, yeah. menswear, yeah, yeah. Like, like shoes and stuff. Really? Yeah. Oh, very cool. How about you? Besides coaching, I'm going to go with a, a chef. A I'm chef? A really? Chef. I like to cook, surprisingly. So uh, I'm going to roll with that. I'm going to say chef. What's, his best, what's the best thing he cooks? Uh, everything's pretty good, so I don't really complain. He's just being nice. He's just being nice. Not like mac and cheese or anything <laughs> like that. Uh, he looks up something good, right? Yeah. <laughs>
Well, I appreciate it, guys. I want to remind you fans, the men's basketball team and the women's basketball team, they're home this weekend, Friday and Saturday, hosting presentation in Dickinson State. And then two weeks from now, they're going to host the Turbo in the final home game of the regular season. Wish you guys the best of luck this appreciate weekend. You. Keep Thanks up the win streak and uh, go Warriors. Go Warriors. Warriors.